what's up guys you're yeah, welcome back once again to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my channel please do all to subscribe turn on the bell notification so that when i post a video you will get notified and also you can also like this video so that you can also encourage us to make more videos for you guys so in today's video i'm going to be giving answers to one of the most questions i get on my youtube on my whatsapp one of the most questions i get on my whatsapp people are always asking can i actually feed my rabbit just greens can i actually feed my rabbit just leaves yes you can do that that's what i'll be talking about extensively in this video i'll be talking about it and also talking about the advantages and the disadvantage that comes with it so um feeding your rabbits really requires some few things that you need rabbits eat varieties of things rabbit eats uh, kitchen waste like yam uh, yam peels yam itself the um, pumpkin sticks you pluck from your um when you are cooking the pumpkin sticks they eat it and also some other waste like that from the kitchen rabbit eat a lot of greens rabbit eat a lot of leaves rabbit eat a lot of vegetables rabbit eat feeds too so there are a lot of things rabbit eat but before i go into talking about um if you can actually feed your rabbit uh, greens the advantages and the disadvantages that comes with that i want to be talking about five different leaves you can use to make hay for your rabbit because i've discovered some people don't really know how to make hay for their rabbits i've already done a video on how to make hay for a rabbit so you can check out that video and also i'm going to be talking about how to make uh, the different uh, five leaves that you can use to make uh, hay for your rabbit yes that's what i'm going to be talking about five different leaves to use to make hay for your rabbit so the number one leaf i'm going to be talking about is the alfalfa leaf i'll be showing it on the screen this can also be used to make hay it's a very very good leaf for hay and it's very very high in protein yes most farmers that depend on hay and pellets to feed their rabbits it gives their rabbit this particular leaf when it's turned to hay that's what they use to make hay so that's the number one leaf the number one two i'm going to be talking about is the plantain leaf Yes, the plantain leaf. When I say plantain leaf, I know a lot of people will be thinking, how can plantain leaf can actually be used to make hay? Yes, plantain leaf can be used to make hay. Through um, dried ones, you cutting them to dry by yourself. Sometimes plantain leaves just dry on their own. And you can just go cut it off, feed it to your rabbit. It serves as hay. You know, we here in the South South region, we don't really have, there are some few leaves that we don't have here. Yes, yeah, so we try to use those we have to get what we want. Yes, yeah, so... Feeding your rabbit plantain leaves can also serve as hay. It gives them that um, fast di digestion that hay it works for. That fast digestion. Because your rabbit really needs hay to digest their food very fast. So plantain leaf can also serve as hay. The number three leaf I'm going to be talking about is the elephant grass. Yes, elephant grass can also be used for making hay. It's a very, very good leaf for hay because it contains a lot of fiber in it. The video I made on how to make hay, it was actually elephant grass. I used to make that video. The video I used to make here, there was actually elephant grass that I used to make the video. Yes, so elephant grass can also be used to make here. Um, Timothy weed. They want to call Timothy weed. I'll be sharing all the pictures here for you guys. Timothy weed can also be used to make here. Very good here. You can also use it to make here. Um, and also you you get a very good result. Palm tree. This palm tree leaf. Palm tree. Most of you guys know palm tree. Palm tree leaf can be used to make here. So I don't think, um, for those of you guys that don't want to buy feeds, I don't think you can actually say, I don't have money for feed, that's why I don't want to go into rabbit farming. Because you can feed the rabbit varieties of things. So having said the five uh, different leaves you can use to make hay, I'm going to go into talking about feeding your rabbit greens. Feeding your rabbit greens actually comes with different advantages and different disadvantages. One of the advantages is, it comes with is that your cost of feeding will reduce yes the cost of feeding will reduce because you're not going to be buying the greens you're just going to go into the bush cut it and feed it to them you're not going to be buying the greens that will be number one your cost of feeding will actually reduce drastically yes it will reduce very well so there are many leaves you can actually use to feed your rabbits potato leaf plantain leaves elephant grass timothy wheat tree ducks, um, tiger weed, bitter leaf, scent leaf, purple leaf, um, palm tree leaf, centrosema, 
a lot of them i made a video on 30 different kind of legs you can actually feed your rabbit so you can go and check out that video but feeding your rabbit just leaves can actually bring also disadvantages so the disadvantages it can actually bring is that your rabbit won't be growing as fast as someone who is using feed yes your rabbit won't be growing as fast as someone who is using feed even if you the both of you guys are using um are keeping hybrids even if the both of you guys are keeping hybrids and and you put your rabbit at the same time the way at the same age when you got it and you are feeding yours greens and that particular person is feeding his own um pellets or concentrate or formulated feed any of them any of the feeds you will notice the growth rates of the person's rabbits will be actually different from yours yes the growth rate will be actually different because there it is some of these feed there's a lot of um good protein content in them that actually help the rabbits grow very very fast that are not found in greens most of these protein that are found in these feeds are not found in greens so if you're using just a greens to feed your rabbits it won't be growing as fast as someone who is using feeds and also feeding your rabbit leaves too much can actually cause your rabbit to bloat yes too much of leaves for your rabbit can actually cause your rabbit to bloat when i say bloating your rabbit will have a big stomach and meanwhile it's not pregnant it will have a big stomach meanwhile it's not pregnant due to eating a lot of leaves there are people that actually feed their rabbit leaves that do experience this i don't say if you are feeding your rabbit leaf you will be experiencing this you might be feeding them leaves but you are not feeding them too much you won't experience this but one of the things i want to say is that you need fast growth in your rabbit farm so that's why i advise people to use leaf even if it's even if you can use feeds 20 percent of feeds can actually give you what it wants but i feed my rabbit mostly feeds one of the reasons is because going to cut leaves around is actually uh, most times stressful and sometimes in the dry season you can't find leaves around your area the kind of area i stay in the dry season is always kind of hard to get leaves i used to trek as far as very far distance to go and get leaves for them yeah so sometimes it's always very very like i'll just feel lazy about it and I'll, i won't want to go and cut the leaf then i continue feeding them my feed i still get the size i want but too much of also feeding your rabbit feed can actually cause bloating too so i don't say feed is really uh, excellent like that for them but actually too much of feeding your rabbit lead, uh, feeds too can actually cause bloating so that's why you really know you need you really need to know the dimension to feed them and i'll be talking about that also the dimension to feed your rabbit i feed my rabbit um 200 grams of feeds a day whether pellets or formulated 200 grams a handful in the morning a handful in the evening when i say a handful in the morning you will think it's that 100 grams yes i have measured a hand my handful is always a hundred or a hundred and ten almost that so i just use a handful once just one handful for each rabbit one 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 in the morning one in the evening and the day i feel i don't want to feed them too much i just give them a handful of feed in the morning then i give them a little of leaf in the evening to substitute cut cost yes that's what i do mostly feed in the morning leave in the evening leave in the morning feed in the evening then some days i just give them just leaves some days i give them just feeds so i don't depend on one particular thing to be feeding them because feeding them one particular thing won't really give them all they, they, they want to grow very fast as a human being you don't just eat rice 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 you don't just eat beans 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 you eat different kind of foods you eat gari you eat beans so this, this is actually how rabbit too is if you see a human being that is always eating gari 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 always eating carbohydrate 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 you will notice this <laughs> this person is not really growing very very well like someone who is eating a balanced diet so rabbit need varieties of things to grow just like we humans so depending on wanting to feed them i don't advise it feed your rabbit varieties of things if you can be getting greens and also get feed and also forages kitchen waste i also feed my rabbits yam peels but i don't advise people to feed their rabbit uh, their rabbit potato peels yes because p potato peels actually have uh, a toxic con uh, context in it it has a, a toxic context in it so i don't advise anybody to feed uh, your rabbits potato peels especially the females yes it has a way of harming the females i'll also be talking about that maybe in in another video he has a way of harming the female this particular potato leaves 
potato peels, not potato leaves now, potato peels. So you can feed a rabbit potato leaves, it does not have any problem. But potato peels have a way of harming the females. I know many people will be saying, I've been feeding my rabbit potato peels. But you won't know, the rabbit might take in a lot of kids and you are feeding it potato peels, it will reduce the number of kids she has inside. I have a lot of video for you guys. So just subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. For those of you guys that are yet to join our WhatsApp group, you can message me on WhatsApp and I'll add you to our WhatsApp group. Thank you once again for watching this video. As I always said, guys, do have a nice day. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking this video. Please and please, if you are yet to like the video, please like the video and also comment if you want me to do another video for you. If you want any other video, just say it on the comment section and I'll be very glad to do a video for you guys. Thank you once again for watching my channel. And once again, do have a nice day. Until next time, peace out.